so important to not only talk about the vision that, that Israel started off with, but the, the history, the athletes such as yourself, the, who inspire the next generation. I know you're, you're up on, obviously, uh, the, the success of Israeli athletes and Jewish athletes around the world, but do you, do you feel a legacy now? Do you feel that, that you've inspired other Jewish athletes and, and, and how they're doing around the world? Well, um, I, I think that my performance at the Olympic Games um, definitely became a matter of measure that others judged themselves by and point in case, Michael Phelps. Uh, he wasn't even born when I was in the Olympic Games. Uh, Lenny Kraselberg, um, I'm sure, was inspired by getting into swimming because of the, the history of maybe what I had done, and Jason Lezak as well, who's a Jewish athlete that if it wasn't for Jason, then Michael wouldn't have won his eighth gold medal. <laughs> I never told him that, but uh, he, he came from behind and beat the French in a relay that uh, on paper shouldn't have done so, but at least the Americans won. And I'm not regretful of that. One of the interesting things that I personally, uh, on a personal note, was inspired by was in 1985, uh, 13 years after I performed in the Olympic Games in Munich, I was asked to run the torch in to light the cauldron at the Maccabea Games. Um, I was the first and only non-Israeli to ever been asked that. And there were uh, three little girls that were 13 years old and each of their fathers was one of the 11 Israeli athletes that got killed. Follow me. So I think, uh, I think we have uh, a responsibility as athletes to, to inspire, I'm sure. Uh, it's not something that we could actively promote, but I think that people look up to us to a certain degree. And in all of my world travels, I've noticed that a lot of Jewish people, and it's always when I've been in Israel, actually are the families that are there saying, well, my, my kid wants to be a doctor, and he's going to be a lawyer, and he's going to go to Princeton, and he's going to go to Harvard. But we know that statistically, if all Jewish little boys and girls became doctors and lawyers, then they wouldn't have to go to doctors and lawyers because they would be their own doctor and their own lawyer, right? <laughs> and, and so statistically, it's the same in, in life, that if there are 10,000 athletes who go to the Olympic Games. There's 250 contested events, approximately. So if you use as a a matter of judging one's success at the Olympic Games by getting some hardware. So there's the gold, silver, and bronze, that's 750 medals. And then some of the sports are team sports, like in yeah. basketball, there's 10 medals. So there's about approximately 1,000 medals that are handed out. So that's 10% of the people that go to the Olympic Games are actually coming home with hardware. And the other 90% are coming home with participants' certificates, which is just as important because they're Olympians. And I think that so life is not designated like in a pool where we have eight lanes. It's designed to have seven losers. We can't have eight winners. Um, and so I might have been just one of the lucky ones that, that survived through that pressure. Um, and there's a lot of reasons why, which is not part of this discussion. But the reality is, is that I think all of us, whether we're successful in sports or whether we're successful in uh, our profession, whatever that might be, there are the leaders. There are the five or ten percent of us that that excel, and we set the standards and we set those goals that others can look up to. And I think it's our responsibility to pass that on, uh, that knowledge. One of the things that Israel didn't have when I competed was they didn't have the facilities, they didn't have the pools, they didn't have the coaching, they didn't have the technology, they didn't have an interest in that because at the time Israel was developing, that wasn't up on the list as being important. Now that they're more sophisticated and technology is a gigantic part of that country and they have money, we've noticed that some of these programs start to exist where they're excelling in these different mm. sports. And so the reasons weren't because Jewish athletes were not good, it's just that they weren't exposed to those opportunities. Awesome. Hey, let's have a round of applause for both these guys. Great. We're actually gonna have we're going to have some time for a question and answer for, um, from, for some folks afterwards. So uh, I know some, some, we don't have too long, but we have a little time for question and answer afterwards. Um, but now I know this is all the research that Lou and his team did. Uh, here's a look at some current Jewish athletes who are excelling on the world stage. Two seconds left. Yardin Gerby gets a bronze medal at the Olympic Games. He gets rid of it quickly. Catch! 
misses. Julian Edelman. Goodbye, Edelman. Touchdown, New England. Here's the 0 1. High fly ball to left. This is gone for a grand slam for Bregman. It all comes down to Allie Raisman. It is all attack and no fear. The best we've seen from Allie Raisman. Wow. Get the gold medal, Brady. The fans. Schwartz yielded only 23 pressures. The tackle was so dominant, Pro Football Focus honored him with the Bruce Matthews Award as the game's best offensive lineman. Rosen going to run. A ton of green in front of him. He's inside the 10. Rosen to the end zone. Touchdown, UCLA. Beautiful steal, and here comes McCall. Push it ahead. Caspi's ahead of everyone. High drive, deep left center field. Bader is back. Braun, a grand slam. She is Seattle basketball. From your star, number 10, Once again, thank you to Ramona Shelburne, Tal Brody, and Mark Spitz. And now, please welcome JNF President of Greater Los Angeles, Elise Golden Berkeley. No, no, thank you so much. I'd like to thank Mark, Tal, and Ramona for sharing your stories with us. A special thank you to Council General for your, your remarks and for your special relationship that you have with the Jewish National Fund. Thank you to our chairs, Sarah Cannon and Fred Tocek, and to all our table captains and our sponsors for your hard work and support. A very